State TV in Moscow showed these unverified pictures, claiming they are Ukrainian soldiers surrendering. But the city's defenders posted their own videos holed up in the port and a factory, still fighting, but their position seems desperate. We won't give up, says this Marine, but we're encircled with no resupply of ammunition or food. A hundred miles north, just over the Russian line, Europe's 21st century war is fought amid mud and rage in the trenches. Mariupol's capture could see a push north here. If Mariupol falls, what will happen here? Well, we won't let this place turn into Mariupol. They're holding on. Move, move, my little friend. Vitaly shows me their Soviet-era launchers. They also have brand new Western weapons, but they want more, with the war about to move to a decisive phase. So they're completely dug in here, as you can see. And the Russians are that way, about four, four or five miles from here, within artillery range. And you can see how they're ready for a long and grinding fight. They've been entrenched for 45 days. No, we're on our own land. We are on our own soil. We expect them to bury as many of them as possible. The more troops they send our way, the more fertile our land gets. Russia's siege has killed.